Hello everyone, my name is PGR Team America and welcome to my review of the Duels 21.0 patch update. So, um, this patch is already live. Um, I haven't played on it yet even. Um, but let's just dive right into it. So, cards that you can now put into your decks and discover and be found in buckets will now also include United and Stormwind. Um, this only affects the free legendary they gave out for now, but United and Stormwind cards will be draftable in buckets before the expansion comes out on August 3rd. Um, and also Kobolds and Catacombs you can put into your decks. Um, I'll, I might do another video about how that impacts it. I don't think there's a whole lot of impact though. Um, but what's more important is we have these new passive treasures. So starting off, party replacement. At the start of your turn, summon a 2-2 adventure with a random bonus effect. I think this is a mediocre um, tier 2 passive. Like, I mean, you start off tier turn 1 and you can summon like a 2-2 with divine shield or something. But that's pretty solid. It's a tier 2 passive, it's, it seems like it's, it'll be consistent, it's something that'll basically always be useful, um, I think it's an alright one. So, uh, Inspiring Presence, after you play a legendary minion, reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by one. This is, um, this is a pretty meh. This is meh. I mean, if you're going for legendaries, you typically even want the different starting passive, but... I, I, yeah, it's a tier 1 passive, I think it's just meh. Um, Greedy Gains. This one is, this is stupid chat, or er, this is stupid. Um, your minions have plus 2, plus 2, but cost 2 more up to 10. So this is like Captured Flag in that it's an aura effect. So if you're playing Token Demon Hunter, your hero power is now... Summon two three threes with rush that target an enemy minion. You play um, any of the cards that summon one one tokens with rush and token demon hunter. They're all three threes now because they all have plus two plus two. Um, the same with token druid. You have a bunch of four four to treants now instead of two twos. Um, I think it's ac actually busted. Um, in those decks so yeah that'll be fun to deal with i think i think it's just i think it might have to get removed because of token demon hunter or maybe they'll just make it so you can't get it in token demon hunter because that's just a free 12 wins right there um meek mastery i believe this is a tier one passive your neutral minions cost one less and have plus one plus one so yeah i mean i'll This is kind of annoying because a lot of, like, the Battlecry decks, we're running a lot of passives. So this gives you, like, or a lot of neutral minions. So this gives you, like, a backup for when you're going for the Battlecry strategy, which isn't good. Because the Battlecry strategy was super annoying. <laughs> and I hate it. I hate all together now. Um, so this is, like, a backup that basically just fine. Um... Oh my gosh. I I don't like this one. I think it's too strong. But we'll see. Um, legendary loot. At the start of the game, equip a random legendary min a legendary weapon. So, this is a tier 2 passive, I believe. And this will either win you the game or do absolutely nothing. Um, you can get Woe Cleaver. You can get Twig of the World Tree. You can get Dragon Soul. You can get Sphere of Sapiens, I believe. Um... Skull of Minari. Like, they, it can either win you the game or be absolute trash. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think it's kind of a fun one. Like, I mean, you can get Dragon Soul and it can change how you play the game. It could even be good for you. But, like, it's not really a weapon. It doesn't feel like a weapon, so we'll see. Um, Deathly Death. After a friendly death rattle minion dies destroy the minion with the lowest health so 
I believe this is a tier 2 passive. It can cause chain reactions, and it can hit friendly minions. So, I have no idea how good this is. It's also kind of terrifying, so we will see. Um, yeah, I, I honestly don't know. It's so unique. I have no idea how good this is. I don't know if the Death Rattle goes off first. I assume it doesn't. But yeah, um, I have no idea how good this is. And then, oops, all spells. At the start of the game, destroy all minions in your deck. Your spells cost one less and gain plus two spell damage. Um, yeah, I don't know how good this is. I think, like, in my Felgera deck, this could be pretty cool. Um, because that deck basically doesn't play minions anyway. Like, it can help thin your deck for, like, when you have to... Because, like, sometimes when you're building your deck, you... It's, like, for my Spell Druid deck, I take crappy minions sometimes. Because I want the spells in those buckets. And now, you just can get the spells. So, um... Outside of the Spell Druid deck, I don't know how good this is. Um, but it is a powerful effect that drastically shifts how you play your deck, so I think that's really good. Um, and I like it, I think it's fun. So, we'll see, but I think, oh, I like the direction. I wish we were getting more passives, um, but I like the ones that they've added. Um, so, Unstable Evolution is banned, or you can't get the quest lines that's all that is um unstable evolution is banned from card buckets i assume it's also banned for putting in your starter deck but it's still discoverable the um the row card that makes it so that you're a different hero um is banned from deck building and has no way to get in your deck and then they've added buckets so, um, and then they changed what sets go into group learning, essentially, I believe. So, but, um, that's it. I, I'm excited. I'm worried that altogether now we'll still just dominate. Um, but we will see. And if you're watching on YouTube, please be sure you like, subscribe, comment with what you're excited about for United and Stormwind and this patch in general. And make sure you check out the stream every day. Twitch.tv slash Team America. Thanks for watching.